So uh, today we'll show you the workflow of the OpenGuard order tracking uh, plugin that facilitates the customers as well as the admin to track the orders uh, while they're on its way. So right now you can see I'm on the order history of one of the orders at the uh, storefront under the customer account and on the order details I'm on the order tracking section and here we have the tracking number as well as the courier, uh, courier service uh, name. And if I tap here on this particular tracking number, I'll be redirected to the particular courier service so that I can track my order details there. Apart from that, uh, the customers can also just uh, navigate to the track your shipment uh, under the customer account panel here. And if I tap on that, uh, we can basically, uh, I'm sorry for that, just give me a second and let me log in again. I just logged out uh, of my account there. So I'll just log in once again to my customer account. And now I'm on the uh, track your shipment and here under my uh, track my uh, shipping or your track your shipment you can enter your uh, shipment number and you can choose your courier service you can tap here on the track button and uh, you'll be uh, displayed with the uh, tracking information of a particular order that you've already placed so here you have the uh, shipment or uh, shipment details and you can check uh, exactly uh, where exactly your shipment is right now so uh, as an example let me show you that uh, let's uh, once again go to uh, my order history the customer account and here i have uh, order id 466 so after the uh, tracking number has been added from the uh, back end panel by the admin uh, i'll have uh, the details of that particular one uh, under my account panel itself and i can check the tracking details and uh, after you've entered your tracking number and your courier service, this is how uh, it would be displayed. Basically, I just forgot you to display it this. So right now, this is a, just a demo one uh, and I'm using a demo account. That's why right now uh, you can see that the state is pending for the entered uh, shipment number. And it says that uh, please try again. We are uh, awaiting tracking info from the courier carrier itself. And uh, basically uh, now coming back to the order history of the customer, here is the order tracking if uh, added by the admin from the backend panel. And here we have the tracking number and the courier itself. And if I tap here on the tracking number, it would display us uh, the tracking details of the shipment itself. And uh, tapping that up brings up these details as you can see right now. Was you uh, done using a demo account? That's why it's uh, showing pending right now. And this is one more example i'm on the order history of the customer and here we have the order tracking here and the courier name and if uh, we open this up uh, this will bring up the details of this particular order uh, shipment now let's see how the admin would be able to set up the uh, tracking number from the admin backend panel and how he'll be able to initially configure this plugin for that let's go to the admin backend panel and let's log into the uh, backend uh, store itself now let's log into our account by tapping here on the login uh, button. Now to make the initial configurations, I'll just navigate through extensions and then extensions. After the initial configuration, we'll see how we can uh, assign the uh, tracking number there to the orders. So uh, first we'll be going to our uh, plugin itself. We'll be configuring the same and we'll see what different uh, config settings are there for the same. So here we are on the order tracking. Let's tap here in the edit button under the actions column. That brings up the configuration settings for the same. And uh, also kindly note that here we'll be needing the Aftership API key and uh, I've uh, attached the user guide link, uh, the demo link as well and the store link from the user guide link. You can check how we can retrieve the Aftership API key. Right now we can create the test account for 14 days and thereafter you can purchase their uh, service according to their plans and then the, you can make use of that particular api key back here and uh, here let's go through each of the options the very first option is uh, for the order tracking status so you can enable or disable this particular functionality uh, from the admin backend panel for this particular plugin configuration settings then you need to choose your website uh, subdomain set up your aftership api key you can also tap here on this particular link to get your API key if you are not having it uh, right away so uh, you can log into your aftership account if you already have one copy the key and if you don't have you can sign up and then you just need to navigate to the settings and API section and uh, there you can generate your API key and then you need to add that up here 
so here I'm the after ship I logged into my account there and here I have uh, my API keys I can delete the created one I can generate a new one by tapping on the generate API key set up uh, its uh, name uh, tap on the generate API key it would generate a new API key then we can make use of that as well within the backend configurations itself and we can paste it up here then we can choose to enable the courier services and uh, these are the courier services that you have activated within your aftership account so you should have an aftership api key aftership api uh, account should be there and you should have enabled the courier services that you want to uh, make use of within your aftership account itself and uh, thereafter you just need to uh, refresh here and uh, it would bring up the uh, services that are there that you have enabled and then just tap here in the save button and you are done making the initial configuration settings now let's see how we how the admin can uh, assign the uh, tracking number so for that he'll be navigating to the uh, sales uh, section then orders and uh, on the orders page uh, then we'll just uh, edit the order or we can also view the order let me tap on the view uh, let me go back one step I'll just tap here on the view button for this particular order and if I scroll down here we can see the section that's uh, under the order history that's the order tracking for this order particular order that is having two products Canon and the iMac product so for the order tracking here we have the courier service selected as DHL Express so if we have the tracking number we can enter that up here if we have multiple tracking numbers we can also add those up uh, separated by comma and uh, thereafter we can choose the uh, products for which the courier will be providing the shipment and uh, we can set up our uh, test comment as well and then we can tap here on the add tracking and this would add the tracking number to this uh, uh, particular order that we have so if I tap here on the add tracking and after adding the uh, tracking number if I come back to that particular order under the order history we have the order tracking and there we can see the date that we have added the tracking number the tracking number itself the courier name we can also delete that up as per and requirement there and uh, we can change that up as well as required so uh, that was much about the plugin itself that's the uh, open guard order tracking uh, plugin i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow if you like the video please give it a thumbs up so we get motivated to create more and more videos uh, like that and uh, if you have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly reach back to us at support at webpool.com or you may raise it to get at webpool.uids.com. And uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day.